How's it going, everybody? Today we are checking out Darko US Oni. Now, I'm going to be honest, I actually had no idea this album was dropping today. I just randomly checked my phone and I saw people talking. They're like, hey, did you hear the new Darko US album? I was like, it came out? What? I was like, holy shit. Yes, today's the day. Because the only track I've heard is Acid Inject. But man, that is absolutely nuts. I mean, just glitchy noises everywhere. Tom Barber's ridiculous vocals. Um, everything is just so on point from what I've heard. I mean, it's only that one track, but um, yeah, I'm super excited to check this out. So yeah, let's get right into it. Kind of haunting. It's leading up to something. Tuna drop fart, dude. <laughs> No way you're ending that with synth. I refuse. Hold on, I need to pause this. What? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god. I, I was I'm gonna be honest, I was a little tired at the start of this because I you know just got out of work and everything, but that woke me right up. Oh my god. I mean synthwave deathcore? Like throw in a bunch of glitchy ass noises, Tom Barber just going actually nuts on vocals so low. Those guitars are tuned so low, too. Oh my gosh. Let's get right back into this, dude. What? Oh, 
loving that back and forth between Tom and Rio. so great you're so different thank you that sounds like sarcasm <laughs> alarm noises That's pretty. Kind of give me a Japanese kind of theme. I mean, the band, the album's called Oni, so I mean, you know, it makes sense. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. He's right, though. Stay in the car. <laughs> <laughs> 
salve insanity. Guess I'm insane. Fading back in. I'm a little bit. Maybe not. Oh. Okay. Open the rift. Let me pause that for a minute. Holy crap, man. We're only four tracks into this album, and I'm already, like... I'm already feeling like I'm going to have too much stank face for one album reaction. Like, the, the only other album so far that I've had that much stank face for is probably Dedication to Flesh by Spite, because that was also just ridiculous, just off the wall. But this is just a totally different beast, dude. And, I mean... With a song named, like, Dragon Chaser, I'm assuming it probably has something to do with heroin, because, like, chasing dragons, that's kind of, like, it's a common referral to heroin. So I don't know if that was a subject matter for the track. Could be wrong. Could be completely unrelated. But, uh, oh, my God. Just absolutely nuts. Uh, <laughs> truly just top-tier stuff, though. So, yeah, let's get, let's get back into this, dude. Come on. <laughs> We got Kyle Anderson, Brand Sacrifice. Then Rio from Crystal Lake. Gurgly lows. Don't listen, so many of them 
Let me pause that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Another sick track. Uh, what I wanted to point out really quick before I go on is that like synth kind of thing that was going on throughout the track. It was really giving me, um, oh, I don't know what you would call it, but, um, while she sleeps kind of messes with it in their like in their newest album that they had um they had a lot of that like kind of like uk electronic sound i don't know if it's more popular in like uk like drill rap and uh that style like trap and all that over in europe and stuff but um that's kind of what it is giving me like flashbacks to and it also sounds like something you could chant in a stadium like oh 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 kind of like that like I imagine a whole like soccer stadium filled with people um just like chanting that like that was uh that was really cool I've never heard that in a deathcore track before but I uh I dig it yeah let's get right back into this Ooh. Going low on us. Excuse me. told me this boy could sing. Shame on you. I need to know about this. <laughs> God. Spirit box, too. Beautiful falsetto. I think maybe it's not. What a turn, dude. Total 180. I'm here for it. Absolutely. Wow. They love their pitch shifter. <laughs> Bring 
the gents. Oh my god, I gotta pause that. What? That... This album keeps getting better, I don't understand. Is, is that possible? Is, is, that, is that legal? Is this breaking any laws anywhere? Like, first off, I've never heard of Shaolin G before, but um, I need to check out some of his stuff. Kind of, you know... Wow. Because uh, he sounded dope, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. And that, like, that part really went full on, like, trap and stuff. Rap, trap, you know, whatever. Dude. <laughs> Heat, straight heat, so good. Uh, <laughs> let's get back into this, dude. What? Oh my gosh. I wonder what this stands for. RTGOB. More keys. Dude. 
heartbeat. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> Man, it's a lot. cow this is oni title track all right hmm
liking that harmony of the vocals. Start. Look right. I press start. What's gonna happen? <laughs> the marching drums. Like an automaton for a minute. Gosh, let me pause that for a second. Oh, this this album is something else, dude. I mean, the musicianship is so tight, like just ungodly. Like, I mean, did you hear those drums in that track? Like, there's so many spots where he didn't have to add any more, you know, like drum fills in or anything, but he would just add in those extra little notes in between, and it sounds so good. The <laughs> like, Oh my gosh, yeah, let's let's get back into this, man.
those were tonics. A lot of atmosphere in this one. Sounds like it's like zooming at you. Man, let me uh let me pause that for a minute. What I noticed with like the keys that are going that like dun, 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 I noticed that's in uh one of the tracks from Born of Osiris' newest album. They like end out with it's like dun, 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 kind of like doing that, you know, techno kind of stuff, kinda like what they're doing in this. I mean a little bit different execution, but I don't know why my brain went there. It was just like, why does that sound familiar? And I remembered Born of Osiris, one of their tracks, it ends out with that, like, those keys doing that. But, uh, yeah, let's let's get back into this. I've already heard Acid Inject, so I know this is a banger. Yeah. It's a bop, as they say. I just love the car alarm sound, man. Wait for that bass drop. So clean. This has to be one of my favorite parts still.
Yeah, still banger. Still definitely holds up. Rory Rodriguez. Like, day seeker? Alright. Let's hear this. Nice and shoegazy, dude. Oh my gosh. Wow. They record like a phone call? I mean, it is called Come Home. Gorgeous. Last track. Rewinding? It's literally rewinding. 
And then the first track, Begin, said the titles of all of them, I think. Very creative way to end the album, for sure. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Darko US Oni. Oh my gosh, dude. I think that's the craziest album I've heard so far this year. I mean, there's a few other albums that could be contenders. Um, I'd say Spite, Dedication of Flesh is definitely a contender in that category. But um, I feel like just all the pitch shifting, random like car alarm noises, stuff like that. All the like electronics and like trap beats, stuff like that thrown in, 808 basses, drums, um, everything put together is just absolutely nuts. Um, it makes for a very diverse sound, even though you know you're getting some crazy, you know, like glitchy deathcore, but you never quite know what you expect with this band. Like, a lot of the songs have a similar like sound and motifs and stuff, but the way they're executed seems to be consistently different, and I really appreciate that. And um, they always seem to add in little things just to separate each track so it has its own individual identity. Um, that's really tough to do, in my opinion, especially with this style of deathcore. But um, yeah, overall, just probably one of the tightest arranged albums I've heard so far this year. There's so many points where... They could have totally screwed up like like everything is so tightly wound and one little misstep and you're just you're gone i mean the drums especially like listening to listening into the drums hearing all the little spices that are added in little um you know extra notes and beats and stuff that didn't necessarily have to be there but because they were there it just amplified the entire arrangement um yeah drums absolutely killed it uh, everybody killed it, to be honest. I mean, Tom Barber, you know, his voice is legendary. Um, you know Tom Barber when you hear him. He has a very distinct voice. Um, his lows, disgusting. Got that gurgliness to him. I, I love it. Um, has awesome highs. You know, mids, amazing, obviously. You know, if you don't have good mids, then, you know, there's something you got to work on. Um, his cleans, though, oh, my gosh. I had no idea that Tom Barber could sing like that. Um, super impressive, especially going from all that <laughs> just to uh, it's just gorgeous. Um, okay, maybe not like that. Maybe not exactly, but you get the point. <laughs> um, dude is a beast. That's that's the point of it. But um, man, I really I don't even know what to say about this record because there's so much going on. Um, what really caught me by surprise and what I'm suspecting caught a lot of people by surprise, unless they're familiar with this band and this is kind of a commonality, is the um like shoegazy kind of tracks, so like the slower ones where he is doing the clean singing and stuff. I was uh definitely not expecting that. I wasn't expecting them to go into that like loathe and spirit box territory where they experiment with a little bit slower, more open ambient track um from an otherwise heavier band. And um I think those have to be some of my absolute favorite bands and sounds is where they go from the stupidly heavy to just um, gorgeous, you know, shoegazy, what have you. Um, beautiful arrangements. I mean, all around. Uh, yeah, so I love the variety. I think it makes for a more, um, a, a better listening experience when you go back to the album. Because there's some albums that um, are, you know, super heavy throughout. I'm not always in the mood for that. Um, but when I am, you know, obviously I jam it out. But this is one of those albums, it's super heavy, but then you get kind of the palate cleanser. It, it keeps you going. You don't feel like you're too uh, just overloaded with gent information. <laughs> like, um, Yeah, absolutely nuts. Uh, I'm just kind of rambling on at this point. I feel like I've kind of summed up everything I want to talk about about this album. Um, I mean, you heard it firsthand, so <laughs> you know everything I'm talking about. It is just a massacre to the ears man in the best way possible but yeah what did you guys think about this album did you like it did you not like it leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations you can leave that down below as well and before i get to the end of this i want to ask what's your guys' album of the year so far uh because i want some recommendations on some really good albums i haven't heard this year because 
you know, I'm one person. I can only check out so many albums in a you know select amount of time. And it's already almost October, so only got a couple more months until it's 2023. And uh, I want to make sure I have as many albums down in my uh, you know discography as I can, my uh, my album collection, if you will. Uh, really, you know, fine tune my collection, figure out what I love, what I maybe don't love as much. But yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, you guys take it easy.